All right, so today we're going to talk about the Fujifilm Cam Remote app. So if you want to transfer images from your camera to your phone and things like that. But first, let me go get a coffee. All right. That's good. All right, so this video is going to be if you are going to download for the first time the Fujifilm Cam Remote app, or if you're having any trouble with the app itself. Now this could be because you updated your phone to the latest operating system. So to start clean, the first thing you're going to do if you already have the app and you're having some issues is going to be deleting the app. Then you're going to go into the menu of the camera and then into the wrench icon, you're gonna go down to connection setting and then you're going to go to Bluetooth setting and then delete pairing registration. And then from there, you'll delete any registrations you have to make sure you start clean. Also, make sure that Bluetooth is set to on so that the camera can connect to the phone. Now go into your app store and go look for Fujifilm camera mode and then download it. Once it's downloaded, open up the app and then make sure you give permission to the app to access all the settings to make sure everything works properly. Now select your camera, so whether it's GFX or X system, find your camera, click on it, and then click on add. Now it's going to tell you to go onto the camera now. So on the camera itself, you're going to go into the menu and then go to the wrench icon, and then go to connection setting. You then go to Bluetooth setting, pairing registration, and then on your app, now you're going to click on proceed. Your camera will show up, simply click on it, and then you're going to see on the camera, pairing registration complete, and then on your camera, you're going to see if you want to sync the date and time from the smartphone. I personally like to do that because that way you know everything is going to be in sync, and if you have more than one camera, they'll all be set at the same time and date. So click OK on the camera, and then you're good to go. So go back to the app and then click on Start, and then you have different options from there. So let's say we want to import images selected on app. So I'm just gonna click on it. And then on your camera, you're going to see a message that's going to say, start up Fujifilm app for digital camera and select the function. And then you have help, okay, change and back cancel. Now, if the camera doesn't seem to connect, click on OK, because if you use the camera on your iPad and on your iPhone, you need to change the registration for which device is going to be using. And then on your phone, you're going to see that the camera remote wants to join the Wi-Fi network. So just click on join and then wait for it to connect. And then on your camera, you're going to see your phone connect OK and then just click OK to transmit. Make sure you allow the app to connect to devices. And then as you can see, all your images are popping up. And then from there, you can select the ones you want to import into your phone. So just select them and then click import. You're going to see the transfer happening and then images are being saved to the camera roll. You can then click OK. Now you can get back to it or you can click on the X to get out of it and then you're going to see that the Wi-Fi will be disconnected. So you're going to do the same process if you want to do live view shooting. So let's just click on it for example. And then it's going to ask on the camera to connect. I'm going to again click on OK just to make sure I have the right registration paired up. Click on join on my phone. Connect OK, select OK to transmit, and then you can see your live view. So that's it, it's pretty smooth. So I hope if you had any issues with the app, this resolved them. And then uh, if you were a first time user, well, I hope this helps you connecting up your Fujifilm camera to your phone.